Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Lufia! Last time, we defeated the Dark Ghost, and as you can see, the lake is purified again. So, let's get our reward for helping out this little village. Well, we get a free stay at the hotel. That's nice. Better than a sharp stick in the eye. Not that it's that much cheaper than it was before, but, well, you take what you can get. Alright! Why would you want to play in a lake? Don't answer that, viewers. I would think a lake would be pretty dirty. Okay, well anyway, what she's referring to, and if you piece together all the other clues about the blue, green, and red gems, what you have to do is, well, we're still missing one gem, but you have to uh, get all three gems and put them on the towers in that order. Blue, green, and red. Well, yes, I am very handsome. I mean, uh, for Lufia, that is. Shove a lightning bolt up her ass, Lufia. So anyway, we're going to have to go all the way through the three towers again to the pedestals. I'm going to do that off screen, obviously. But anyway, since defeating the Dark Ghost, the swamp is clear here. And here we get the final gem, the blue, or blue jade, but same difference. Now those two chests that were here before, those two chests, if you didn't get them earlier, these contents here, the dragon egg, it would overwrite the previous contents. So, if you didn't get them before, you can never get them, and you can never get 100% treasure rating. So, okay, well that's everything we got. wanted to do here. I've got the blue gem. So now, I'm just going to meet you at the top of the three towers, one by one. I'll meet you at the blue tower next. Alright, we're back at the blue tower here, so let's pl place the blue jade on there. No, no, yeah, yeah, we have to. Of course we do. So, now I'll just meet you atop the green tower then. Alright, we're back at the green tower here, so this time let's put the green jade on there. Sounds like a plan. Alright, now I'll just meet you on top of the red tower. Alright, we're atop the red tower. Finally, we can make it to Alfred. Actually, climbing up the three towers isn't nearly as tedious as it might sound, because we don't have to get all those treasures and anything like that. And, uh, who's Shilf? I don't think they ever said who it, he or she was before or after this. But, oh, well, there we go. Will it work? Hey, hey, we made it. All right. And after that sequence, Jared learns the Elf spell. It warps you to Elfram. Um, the warp spell itself cannot take you there, so you have to use the Elf spell, but it's cheaper anyway, so there we go. Let's check this place out. Finally, we made it here. Yeah, it, it took quite a while to get here, but uh, all right, we get a free rest at the end. We don't like humans, and we're completely isolating, isolating ourselves from them, but you can stay here for free, why not? Here we got a spell potion. Awesome. Let's see what they sell here. Yeah, I'm gonna give you a huge discount. I mean, um, well, they got some pretty good stuff. High potions, high magics, but uh, yeah, nothing that I need right now. So, oh, well, I suppose so. I wish they went into that more, but eh. Well, we'll have plenty of that in Psychic Densetsu 3. Don't worry about it. But anyway, here they got some new equipment. We're going to find a whole bunch of new stuff, so I'm not really worried about it. But I do want to get a quilted silk. Uh, that's really all I need. And uh, we really don't need, uh, what is it? We don't really need those, uh, like, poison arrows or big arrows. We don't need them anymore if you want to. You can sell them. That'd be fine. Uh, let's see. Okay, we got that. Oh, and there's some more treasure up there. Well, let's grab it. You're, you seem to be the only jerk around here. Speed potion. Awesome. Huh, there's another one of those portals there. Not that we can do over there yet. Damn, a locked door. We can't even break it down. Well, anyway, let's uh, use those potions there. Nice. Very nice. I really love having that speed boost on Jaren there. All right. Those are some good stat boosts there. Excellent. Could it be? It looks just like him. Well, I'll just tell you. It's Artea. Yay! We found him. He looks exactly the same as before. I like that, though, because, well, he's an elf. He's supposed to live damn near forever. Ha ha ha. Well, all right. So, uh, yeah, 
You're gonna replace Jenna, right? You gotta save the world! But why not? Oh, no. Old? You're 37. You're not old. No. No, just kidding. But uh, I would think elves live to be like thousands of years. You know, how could he be old by now? If he wasn't old before. It's only been a hundred years. That's like, you know, a year to a human. Well, you, you still have that? Why didn't, like, Maxim, like, throw it to him and say, Hey, I'm done now before I'm going to die. Uh, take the sword with you. But, no. No. Yeah, we don't know where it is. Oh, well, why didn't anyone else go for it then? Oh, well, there we go. Well, I could have figured that out without you. That's not all you're going to tell me, is it, Artea? We came all this way. Oh. oh, I never heard about that guy. Oh, okay, I guess, uh, or yeah, we did kind of hear that before. Oh, well, there we go. Under the sea. All right. So now we have to head to Odell and find the Shia guy or whatever to find a way to go underwater. Well, do the best I can. I mean, I'm 16 or 17. Or I'm a teenager. How can you put the weight of the world on my shoulders? All right, there we go. And that was at Portal that was back there before, so. Huh? What's up, Artea? Really? It's my biggest gun. You ever run out of ammo, Jared? Just come back here and I'll give you the next biggest gun. No, no, just kidding. Hey, hey, all right, we got Artea's bow now. That bow is kick ass. I love that weapon. It is damn near abusive at this point in the game. It's, well, you'll see in just a moment. So, uh, let's see, let's equip her with that. Yeah, look at that attack power. She has almost as much attack power on a group as Adol does on a single enemy. And there is no split damage among all the different enemies in a group. It is amazing at this point in the game. I love it. So now, we could head uh, through that portal and go to Odell. Or, since we're at level 20, we can do more side quests. So, let's head on back to Grenoble then. So, first things first. Let's, oh, back at the top then. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's warp back to Grenoble. And, well, as you saw, uh, uh, Matt, not Maxim, uh, Adol is at level 20. Uh, you, like I said before, you don't have to have everyone at 20. And, well, I'll be able to show you this time. Because, well, not everyone is at level 20. So, you just need at least one character at that level. And you should be fine. I won't be able to get through this entire part of the old cave today. But, well, I'll do as much as I can. So... Golden Pond. Sure, sounds like a plan. Eh, it's not that challenging. Actually, this is the enemies there are relatively easy. It's just that there's a lot of treasure to find and well, a lot of random battles. So well, I'll do what I can. And I think I'll just fast forward through the elevator. Could, don't you wish you could do that in real life? Just like when you're on an elevator and you gotta go up a lot of floors, you can just fast forward! Whee! Of course, that might hurt when you end up at the bottom, but let's take a look around. Ooh, smoke ball. Empty. Yeah, even the empty chests count towards your uh, uh, treasure total. Now, the Luck Blade is a weapon that only a Guru can equip. It's, it has massive attack power, but it misses, at least for me, it misses a lot. And I hate missing my, my attacks. So I don't like using it you want to use it, go right ahead. It's a cursed weapon, too, just so you know. I got an opal there. Where's all the treasure? How did people get down here so fast? Where's all the enemies? Hmm. That's weird. Ah, there we go. Some new enemies here. The Mace Man. Uh, they're going to use a can of mace on me. Uh, I don't know. But anyway, they are weak to thunder! So... Shove a lightning bolt up their ass. That'll take care of them very nicely. Uh, the stings there can poison you. So, you gotta watch out for them. From now on, would you call me Sting? No. No, I, I don't think so. I'll be honest, viewers. I don't know much about the Rockstar Sting. 
Honestly, I know more about the wrestler's sting for some reason. Uh, oh, wait a minute. I don't need to cast a spell. I have a leftover float. All right. How did I get into a battle after closing my menu? How does that work? Anyway, we got a new enemy here. Rock. They like to rock the house! No. No. But, uh, well, they're not very hard, really. So, yeah. Look at that damage from the, uh, Arteas, though, there. Holy cow! And a group of enemies? I mean, she's almost dealing as much damage to, as the Malay fighters will. Got an X potion. Awesome. The upper path will loop around to the lower path there, so we'll get that eventually. Got a kite shield. Well, better than a shot stick in the eye. Not that much better. And here we got the last new enemy around here, Gold Orcs. Uh, again, not very hard, you know, just, you know, use a use our Tez bow. The guys should be able to take him out, and we should be fine. So, let's see, take out Sting there. Oh, wait a minute, he's gonna kill him. Never mind. Or she can kill that guy, too. Okay, there we go. Any new spells? No, no, okay. High bomb, high potion, high other? No, no, there's nothing here. But will I ever be able to find the golden pond? What do you mean you're not excited for me to find it? Next time on Let's Play Lilfia! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.